What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. We daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. And who knew we'd actually be doing Fixed Friday on Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Fixed Friday on a Friday. I hope you're all ready for the classic fixed debauchery that will ensue. Uh, settings for the series. We are now doing world domination on classic map. Auto setup 60 second, nine, auto setup 90 second turn with an automated medium bot. Alliance is on, fog blizzards, portals are off, and I am playing as orange in the fifth seat. In the first position, we have Dapper Eagle 286 from the United States of America playing as blue. In the second position, Valen from Spain would like to take Australia. What a shocker. We would like to blow through a blue five because Australia is the only way you could possibly ever win at Classic Fixed. In the third seat, we have Anthony L. Davis also from USA playing as black. In the fourth seat, General Wellington 17547 from USA playing as red. I'm in position five playing as orange. This is the classic fixed account. We are ranked as a master. I would love to make GM before the end of the season, but we're like 20 something days out. So fingers crossed, I better win some games. In the final position, we've Metis Chick, Metis Chick, Metis, Metis um, is from Canada playing as Magento. Metis is a, and, and they spawn with all their material in NA. So the Métis, for folks who don't know, are um, Aboriginal and European, typically Aboriginal and French mixed, and they are considered a racial identity in Canada specifically. Okay. Look at that spawn from Magenta. Wow. Where do I go? Where would you go if you were me? I have a bunch of stacks in a bunch of different places, and none of them work with any of them, any of the others. Um... Europe. Yeah, I mean, Europe, it has to be, but what did Black do on their turn? Arcostrat? I'm not feeling Arcostrat. What's Red going to do? Maybe I go SA? Look great. Offer Black the ability to communicate because Black's the guy who is going to sink or swim with me now. <laughs> I ally up Black. We need to work this out, right? If you go that way, I, I get SA, which I don't love, but I'll take. Uh, look at this start for Magento. Okay, so Black sees it. How are we going to work together? I don't want to kill you, and I don't want you to kill me. So how are we going to work together, sir? You show me a way out and I will give it to you. I will work with you. Ooh, Magenta rolls a 5v3, a eh? Okay. SA is my best bet. Okay, yeah, you saw it too, Corbina. Yeah, man. Like, that's what... You play the hand you're dealt, ladies and gentlemen. Don't love my spawn. Okay, and blue's not going to be... Blue gets a card in Australia before it's gone. Try rolls 2v1s. Blue's good. Blue's a good player. 5v1. Yeah. Black... Blue and myself have to coordinate this piece of the map, which is great. This can slow them down and hopefully buy me time to take SA. Um, green's going to have Australia next turn, not this turn. Gumby, what is up, Pete? Man, glad to catch the stream again. Welcome. Welcome in Gumby. Okay, green puts in. What a schmuck. What a schmuck. Puts a two in. Suck my dick. Oh boy. So I, some people, I tell you, some people. Okay, I'm going to stack on my nine, get a card off my three in Europe. Gummy says I would have gone for South, or uh, Kuda says I would have gone for South, uh, South Africa. Okay. I don't understand that. Black appears to want um, Africa. Does he pull the four out? does pull the four out no not yet okay this is fine he's gonna give okay he's gonna give blue europe K 
Okay, so here our spheres of influence green is going to be in Australia. Magenta is going to be in NA. Blue should be in Europe. Black should be in Africa. I should be in South America. And red is in Asia. And red has most of Asia already. Wow. Wow. Who knew? Okay. I don't know how I can play nice with black. So I'm going to stack. I'm going to get card off my six. And not open up magenta. It doesn't matter. I can open up magenta a bit. Yeah. And this is fine. I, I would I would have loved to hit off this three because I'm going to lose it. But I'm worried that that would be uh, too, if, if black's a noob, that would be too aggressive to the guy who's who I'm trying to be have be sweet on my border. Magenta is expanding slowly. There's no reason in my mind why they don't take North America immediately. But they're slow playing it. Could be interested. Well, you should try it. I'm, I think black had to pick between getting out of your way or blues. Hey, yeah, yeah, right on. I'm, I don't assume, I don't yet assume that black's not a homie. Um, I'm just trying to put myself in a position where I don't die, right? Green putting in sucked for me. Yeah. Rolls the 3v1. Not yet. He wants a perfectly defensible position. What a spawn for Magenta, guys. What an epic, epic spawn for Magenta. I think I missed it. I sent it right at the end of their turn, so maybe they didn't see that I sent the ally request. Okay, green accepts. Yeah, but if you were homie, you wouldn't have put your fucking stack. You wouldn't have left your stack in Venezuela. Pink's only one position. Yeah, they started, they spawned with almost, oh, he's going to break. Don't you tell me. He's going to line himself up to break? No, he's leaving. Yeah, he's leaving. Okay. Well, this board is being real friendly, real quick. You need to hit me. I understand. I understand what you're doing. I don't give a shit about a one. <sighs> Corbina would like to know, why is Becky so mean? Corbina, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. Nobody would ever want to time out Corbina for asking for trouble, would they? Everyone be nice to Becky. What does black do here? Black rolls my three. Friendly players in the game so far. Yeah. Rolls my three, takes Africa. Or please tell me he lets me get it out. That'd be, no, doesn't. Hits it. Moves the four in. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get a card with it. Green says attack my territory. Yeah, sure. I'm down. Do I have, I don't have cards yet. Hmm. Blue allies me. Yeah, red's going to be in Asia. Single stack in Asia play. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is actually one of the only streams I haven't been timed out in. You're a troublemaker, huh? Okay, so now I can be friendly to black at my card in Mideast. Black doesn't have to hit it. They know I'm a homie. And I take my bonus next turn, hopefully as long as uh, magenta set, no set, as long as magenta is cool. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, magenta's not going to guard. Smart. They're going to guard a little bit. They're going to have a three point North America. Perfect open. Perfect, perfect open for magenta. But they're dumb and they roll a 3v1 instead of a 4v1 and get bad dice. Why aren't they taking that bonus? Because they're worried about me breaking it. Well, I am going to stack on Venezuela. Okay, blue sets gets the 8. They take Europe here? Get a card in Siam. Sitting with a 24. They could kill black. Next turn. That would be a spicy play. Okay, green sets gets the 10. Takes Australia.
There's no reason for you to not take Australia here. This is a this is an error. Oh, he's showing me friendliness. He's showing me good goodwill. I appreciate that. That makes take Australia, dude. You'll fall, you're already behind it in your position. You're going to be further behind. Yeah, he takes it. Good, 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 good. Okay. No, it's a classic fix, not classic prog. Alicia says, I hate getting South America with nowhere to expand. Yeah, that's why I still have, you know, a decent five stack in, um, in Asia right now. Fix Saturday. It's only fix Saturday for, for you all down under. It's Friday night for the Peatman. Anyone need R3 practice? Go practice with Becky. He's hosting a game. Okay, so Black has 23 troops. They have Africa. Well, I think Blue has a sneaky, sneaky kill there. I asked Blue if he wants to kill Black. How do you like that kill? It's a Papa Smurf. How are ya? Welcome to the stream. Okay, Red got a lucky set. That's going to keep them alive. Don't think we see them go bad neighbor? We do. This is bad for Black. Okay, maybe the idea I gave Blue to kill them. Oh, poor Black. That fucking sucks. Red decided that they did not want to be the single stack in Asia, and they would rather be the winner of the Africa position. Blacks and Trubs, 16 and 4. Blue should kill Black here. Blue should kill Black here. And Magenta being super passive. Do they hit Mexico? Yeah, no set on four. No. No. No set on four is bad news baseball for the old Peatman. Puts the four down. I sent the ally request to Magenta at the wrong time. Matey chick. Are you feeling friendly? Are you feeling friendly? Kills black, right? No, doesn't kill black. Okay, black survives. Hmm, what is happening? What was that move by blue? Cards have hated you lately. Yeah, we get, we get runs of luck, right? We get ups and downs with the luck. It's the game. SA position from Pete. It was the hand I was dealt, right? You can't fight. Why didn't he take Europe? Why didn't he kill Black? The move for Blue was to kill Black and set. 100%. Black has no set. But neither do I. They take you, they switch to Europe. That's a great play by Black. You're still going to die though. You're going to die on five cards. Red can kill you now. But if Red was going to kill him, they would have taken the big roll first. He was going to kill him properly. He's still going to kill him. Black dies. Black goes out first this game. Crazy to see, folks. Crazy to see. Okay. And Red's not a homie. I'm not allied with Red. Yeah, they didn't accept. Okay, cool. So I have both players on my borders not allied with me. That's not a good SA position. That's a shitty SA position. I think Blue breaks Red here, though. Because Red has... No. What's Red going to do with that? Let's put it in the middle. You're going to keep punching? You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Why would you keep punching? That nine goes to North Africa. Yeah, fuck. Okay. I want to be cool with Magenta.
but they haven't allied me. So I'm sitting with the 17th stack guard in Venezuela. Ah, maybe I could have pulled it to Peru. That would have been the move. Should have pulled it to Peru. Okay. That was a mistake. I can do that next turn. <laughs> stack in Peru. Yeah, because Galaxy is the same thing. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it to Peru. Uh, just in the, in the off chance that one of these guys wants to hit each other. Risky Cam. Hello, Pete. How are you on this fine evening? I'm great, Cam. How are you, sir? I would love it if Magenta allied me. Or red. Or both. I hate not being able to talk to... Oh my god, you're just pooching these 3v1s. And I get the dude's trade! Oh no! Life is not... Life is not friendly to Pete. Okay. Pooch in Japan, long time YouTube viewer, first time live stream. Welcome in, Poochie. Fuck it. Yeah, I get the fucking dudes trade, eh? They say, fuck you. It's not good, guys. Okay. Blue breaks. No, blue takes Europe now. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So I have to add troops equally to both positions because I have really shit cards. I don't think I pull the 17 off to Peru though. Um, ah, maybe I do. Oh. I'm going to have a 10 stack in Japan to take cards and the rest in my South America stack. Papa Smurf says, hey, hey, I got a serious question. I need your input. Is Kilted the voice actor behind Rick from Rick and Morty? No, I don't think so. Oh, baby. Red breaks magenta. I love this. Magenta will counter attack. I love, now I Definitely put it in Peru. Let that war continue. That is really good. Okay, cool. So I have the low match. That sucks. Hopefully I get a card for off my three. I have nine troops coming in. I'm going to put five in Japan. No, 10 stack is good. The rest in Peru. Hopefully we get a card off the three. And we pull the stack to Peru so that Magenta and Red can hit each other. And hopefully, and I get a Joker, baby. Oh, baby. What do we got here? And we, my Joker makes a six trade. Oh, boy, oh, boy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm solo HD. No way. I actually made it to a peace stream. How are ya? You've seen a lot of new faces today. Kill Pink, you say? For two cards? You're out of your mind. Always camp out in Japan. I've been here for 15 years. Dude, I love Japan. I only saw, I only got to be in Japan for two nights, but what a country. 28, five. When did Magenta have five? Just now? Could I have killed them? Did I miss that? Eighteen troops for five. I miss, and he breaks me. Well, that wasn't smart. They broke me for no reason. Yeah, I figure someone named Métis Chick would play like this, though. That's why I was guarding in Venezuela because they haven't accepted the alliance. Right, the no reason break. That's like such a noob move. Someone who rolls three v ones, right? Um. You know how you, you pattern recognize your opponents and you're just like, noobs will not understand good neighbor. So, uh, I don't want to escalate that. What do I do here? You saw that move to Peru as hostile. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the, they, saw the, they saw the least hostile move possible as a hostile move. Right. Yeah. Guess Blue's rank on their passivity. Um, Blue could be good. I think Black was good. 
I think red's not very good. Open a big stack to them. To who? Rolls three won't accept when it's just like I did when I'm expecting to lose the three. Opening red's way to hit them? Red's way is open to hit them. Oh, it was hostile. Yeah, you're right. It was hostile. I mean, fair enough, but now I have to guard there. So tell me a noob without telling me you're a noob. Well, shit. I mean, I'm obviously not letting you hold a plus five now. Oh, please, manual that seven. Lol. <laughs> Lose three. <laughs> yep, now I sit in your bonus. You're dumb. You shouldn't have broken me. So you just let me chill. Locked in Peru. Not your problem. Now I'm your problem. Idiot. <laughs> Oh, I left him in. Oh, yes. That, that's not a villain. That's revenge. This is righteous. This is righteous. And I still get a six trade, if you can fucking believe it. Oh. <laughs> God, me says time to skull fuck. Never break Pete. Absolutely never break Pete. No, no, no. Breaking me is dumb. Breaking me is dumb. I'll make you lose. Big horn. Dumbtree says, the one thing I learned from Pete about risk is always play with emotion. <laughs> now Pete is your problem and we know how much Pete loves NA. Who's going to suicide into me? Magenta? Magenta's dead. I kill Magenta. Magenta dies here. Right? I kill them. This game is over for them. They should not have broken me. This gets them killed. They had a glorious, glorious NA position that they blew. I'm going to give SA to red. Does green interrupt Africa? No. Green's cool. Green is winning from Australia right now. Twice everyone else's troops. Cool. What does red do? Red doesn't have to do anything. Red can chill. Donnie Rod, hope your Friday night is going well. Thank you. How did no one to kill is profitable? So <sighs> profitable is a matter of degree. Um, I have a six trade I'm not going to set. I think I have them dead on board. So I'm going to add my five to the 10. I'm going to go pop, pop. Should be enough to get the Alaska stack and then finish off my 20, leaving troops in all three guard positions of North America. And encouraging red to take South America. Now, um, as far as profitability, the most troops I can get for this kill is 12. But I currently have a six trade. So it behooves me to get two 12 trades if possible. And we'll try after killing this person who really, really should not have broken the old Peatman. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Oh, they give me a good game. Good game. I respect that. I respect the, the sportsmanship. Good game. Okay, so now I get two trades. So hopefully I upgrade my sets so I get two 10 or 12 trades. First trade is on Japan I have. Can I do better than that? don't want i specifically don't want troops on venezuela uh central america is the trade and then japan yeah that's fine and then the next one would be northern europe no we do it this way yes cool Okay, 
I can't communicate with Red. I hope Red breaks South America. I'm not guarding it, right? I want them to have it. Ally up, right? You can hit me. I don't want South America. I want North America. 55 troops. I'm second in troops. Okay, blue takes Europe. I like this. I like this a lot. Red should red should take SA for themselves here. Sam Void says I'm surprised Blue hadn't taken the bonus. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised as well. He saw that Red was aggressive though, so maybe he's playing super passive. Blue's probably a higher rank ranked opponent. Thumbs up, thumbs up emoji. I don't have any emotes on this account. I just have the, the base emotes. Hit me. Hit me, Red. I want you to have that. Just don't break NA. I want you to have a plus five as well. Let's see if Red gets it. I'm 50-50 on this. Red could stack and just pop. Just take it for yourself. Don't break my 15. Please take it for yourself. Well played. Well played. Take it. It's, you're fine to take it. Just don't break me. Well played. Well played. I don't need to fight you there. Don't hit it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. I can't communicate with you because we're not allies. They have, and they line the 15 up to hit me. Well, you know what I'm going to do, guys? You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to depressurize the border. This, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with Magenta. I'm going to let him hit me if he wants to hit me. He gets plus five here. But I won't lose a 20 stack and I can retaliate. And this is my best chance. Because I'd much rather him break me. That's a friendly move. That In no universe is that an unfriendly move to red, right? That's a friendly move to red. Set. No set on four. If this guy breaks me, <laughs> I'm in big trubs. But at least I let him break me. Maybe I should have moved the stack to an open position. We'll see how. I don't think he breaks me there. I think that should show him that I'm friendly. Um, he was about to go Peatman mode. So he pulls the old whoopsie daisy. I mean, he saw what happened after I bro after Magenta broke me. He saw what happened. So let me have a plus five. You also have a plus five. He also has 69 troops, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Oh, these guys are going to card block me. Oh, that's interesting. No, I can get a card me. Yeah, puts up at the top. Love that. Love that. That's wonderful. Okay, I have a 30 stack interior. Only active if he opens. Five cards, though. 62 for five, not such a good deal. I hope I explained uh, the when to make a profitable kill. Maybe not profitable, but a kill that was um, not so negative that... It doesn't immediately make you the fish, right? The real Lost King says he breaks if he's a bl bad player. Getting rid of his secret relationship going on. Hey, man. Alliances are on. You can talk to each other. Green is in the lead at 75, followed by red at 63. I'm nipping at his heels at 62, and blue at 48, not having taken his bonus, puts him at a disadvantage. Red coming in through Alaska. Maybe. But like that wouldn't make any sense. I let I I opened them to break me. They can break me if they want to break me. Deadly strap green. Yeah. Well, let's wait till we're three player. Lots of passive play here. Okay. 
Get a little action in Ontario. Let's have a really soft 15. 20. And my majority troops are locked specifically to not be threatening to anyone. Okay, this board could be stable. Um, I'm at 79 troops, red has 70, green has 75. Green will start to fall away by the wayside. Folks often ask me, how do you play the Australia position? Um, and one of the things I say is this is the inflection point when Australia still has the most troops or close to the most troops but will soon be outgenerated by every other player holding plus fives. Okay. So this is the green player's last chance to effectuate the Australia, the early game Australia advantage before they eventually just get choked out by the bigger positions. So how do you play the Australia pro position properly? You don't. But if you find yourself trapped in Australia, this is the moment to do something. The no name is correct. The answer is you don't. <laughs> no name is correct. But if you if you must, <laughs> you all you have to look for an upgrade. We're towards a fifteen territory NA hold. Yeah, but I mean, I got I got red stack in my way up in Asia. Okay, it, this all depends on what green does. Green's still in a troop lead for a couple more turns. But locking that much of their material inside themselves is not going to be the way. I'm Brooks says, Pete, no Asian, no win. I don't make the rules. And Excalix says, in green's place, I poke blue. Because, yeah, because we've already seen that blue is super passive. How to make Australia the least shit, exactly. Ah, that's too bad. Ah, that's a real shame. He doesn't break me? Huh. That was weird. He obliterates a 20, 20 stack worth of troops, but doesn't break. That was weird. So I card skip specifically. I mean, I card skip because I couldn't take a card, but um, he's letting me hold the bonus. How do I not lose this game? I'm tied up with red at 66 troops. Okay, so he's got nine troops on me. He breaks now. He's dumb. He should have broke last turn. This guy's really shit, right? He's a very, very new player. <sighs> Red is a certified menace. Yeah. Yeah. Risky Cam says, I point my stack at Red's SA. Yep, he breaks. Okay. He just kills me? Yeah, he just kill. He gives himself third. With this play. What? Okay. You're just a moron. I'm so glad I went passive. He's just an idiot. He's just a stupid, stupid idiot. Okay. What do we do about a stupid idiot, guys?
Let's assume blue is good. Do you want to attack him? You going to use the alliance at all? Show faith in blue. Blue should retake and break. This this is extremely threatening to red. You should break. You absolutely should break him. There's no reason we should give this guy extra fucking troops. That's correct. You should 100% break this moron. Good, good job. Well played, green, or uh, blue. But he's, ah, he's going to leave troops in, in Europe, so he breaks me. Hmm. Yes. Green going to take Asia. Oh, give me a fucking break. You loser. You fucking loser. What is this game, ladies and gentlemen? What is this? Puts the 24 right on Kamchatka. Pete has to die. He's too good at risk. You fucking loser. Are you? What is this game? Red has a kill on blue. Let's see if he takes it. Yeah, blue dies. I'm going to go heads up with green. What is this game? Green has troops locked. Okay, I can maybe win this game. Okay, 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 okay. Does he set from that? He does set from that. He's going to break me now and give the game to green. Ooh. Have we seen red hit green at all? This is teeming, right? This is teeming, I think. Well, even if it isn't. If red is not teaming, they are trash. You noob. Nublius Maximus, folks. Okay, so 43 to 91. No chance of a victory, but we do take second. Maybe it's not teaming. No way to know. Let's see what green does. Yeah, see you later, Red. Whoa. No one took, no one hit green, but green had rock solid defense since they took Oz. Yeah, I mean, hey, man, Red is 100% trash teaming or otherwise. We don't know. Uh, General Beef Wellington can suck a fart. Yes, you are. Absolutely a novice. Yeah, and I will not be able to re recover from Green's troop advantage. But hey, folks, we secured another second place. Bill says I think they might just be new players. I mean, awful, awful play from Red. And then uh, Green going to break me when I was totally going to hit Red with those extra troops also makes no sense. But I'm so glad I was able to f finagle a second in the midst of that extent of bullshit wow stunning display yes please hit me hit me yes hit me hard yes yes make me die move the 45 out that's correct no no point doesn't even move the full stack Green is beginner. Yeah, green is beginner. Red is a novice. Blue is probably higher ranked. I think black as well was good. So the, the better players, black and blue, 
And Magenta is all obviously a beginner as well. Magenta is a beginner or... Dude, win the game! Win the damn game. I think trying to break you was a good play by green. Red had punched you in blue. If you 2v1 was facing an alliance against him. I don't know. I don't know. I think that was super sus. I think that was the wrong moment for the passive Australia guy to go and get involved in the board, right? When the board was heating up. If you were trying to play passive Australia, the last thing you want to fucking do is um, involve yourself in a, in wars that are, have already started, right? Let them finish and then do what he's done here and just, just win, right? OMG, what a stud kitty. How you doing? Meow. A lot of people just play for placement because you gain rank for a second. You gain rank for for a second if you if you're shitty, <laughs> if you're a, if you're a loser. Yeah, GG. Uh huh. Uh, I know. I know how well I played <laughs> to get second this game. I know how well I played. Holy fucking shit! My cards were shit. I got ganged up on. I got oh baby, satisfying, satisfying bunch of kills. I think I think Green was. Uh, was teaming but there's no way to know for sure green was a master yeah i think green was teaming you are not an intermediate with that bullshit no fucking chance these ranks don't make any sense i i'm i'm calling sus on valen i'm calling sus on valen ladies and gentlemen hope you all enjoyed this video hope you found some of it fun and entertaining maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channel come along the ride with me i have a daily release on youtube and free pete and I have weekday streams on Twitch and for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.